max Q. Max Q is the period of maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle that it will experience during flight due to the forces of thrust, gravity, and atmospheric pressure. You're watching the Amazon Kuiper One launch from Kennedy Space Center, Florida, aboard ULA Atlas V. You can catch all my videos live on Space Flight Now's YouTube channel. Remember to like and subscribe. Engine ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of Atlas Kuiper One, the beginning of Amazon's Project Kuiper satellite internet constellation. Can you look good? And we've successfully completed our roll program. Hydraulics continue to operate nominally. Mach 1, Atlas 5 is now supersonic. Body rates continue to look good. Engine continues to operate as expected. Throttling back up. You are hearing Sarah Bailey Glasgow providing launch vehicle ascent data. We are now 7 miles in altitude, moving at 1,700 miles an hour. Now passing one minute into flight. Jettison. These additional motors augmented the thrust at liftoff to give Atlas rocket an extra boost to reach its circular low Earth orbit destination. These SRBs are called GEM 63s, which stand for graphite epoxy motor and are 63 inches in diameter. The most obvious difference you'll see between Atlas and Vulcan SRBs is the nose cone shape. Vulcan has a conical nose cone, whereas Atlas has a duckbill or O-drive shape. To move down the center of the range track and is moving at 5,300 miles an hour. Body rates continue to operate nominally. And we are now holding acceleration at 2.5 Gs in preparation. Mach 1, Atlas 5 is now supersonic. Body rates continue to look good. Engine continues to operate as expected. Throttling back up. 
and you are hearing Sarah Bailey Glasgow providing launch vehicle ascent data. We are now seven miles in altitude, moving at 1,700 miles an hour. Now passing one minute into flight. Vehicle continues to pass through the center of the rain track as expected. SRBs continue to operate nominally. Throttling down, engine continues to burn as expected. SRB jettison is coming up in less than 30 seconds. Body rates continue to look good. Vehicle is now one half of its liftoff weight. Max Q passing through maximum dynamic pressure. Coming up on SRB burnout. And we have good indication of SRB burnout, 10 seconds from SRB jettison. Throttling back up. And a good view of SRB jettison in real time. And we have good indication of jettison of all five SRBs. Engine continues to burn normally. We are now 32 miles in altitude, moving at 4,000 miles an hour. And we have good indication of payload fairing jettison. And good indication of CFLR deck jettison. Engine continues to operate as expected. You can Flight just make out those Sarah fairing Bailey jettisons. Going just out of frame. Now about three and a half minutes into the mission, the next milestone is going to be the booster engine cutoff, or BECO, at about T plus four minutes and 23 seconds.